Thanks very much, Lori and Dave. The Institute's interest, knowing how frustrated Americans are and knowing how much they are indicating that they've lost confidence in their ability to solve problems, the next challenge is what can we do to turn this around? So how do we use this information to help Americans have a, the possibility of taking positive action? We know they've lost confidence. What we found most interesting in this survey data and in the qualitative data is it's the strongest indication we've seen thus far that it's going to impact how they vote in the, in the presidential election. You know, we go all the way back to Alex Tocqueville in 1848. What he wrote about the Americans as people is that they care more about solving problems than they care about ideology. We are clearly seeing that character of our nation's population strongly focused here. Again, there's agreement amongst the public about what's causing this confidence crisis. The disrespectful dialogue, the character attacks, the lack of civility between um, members of Congress, and hyperpartisanship, the fact that they do not reach across the aisle to solve problems, and a real belief that's grown that they care more about being reelected than they care about the problems of the country. The National Institute of Civil Discourse, which was created in January of 2011 in the wake of the tragic shooting in Tucson, Arizona, at one of those moments in American democracy, a place for constituents and elected officials to come together, the whole goal of the Institute is to work with three audiences, the public, members of Congress, and the media. Today, we want to actually take the first step to restoring confidence from the public's point of view, looking at it one conversation at a time. Beginning on Sunday, you will be able to log on to a website called Your Word Count. And this will, website will have tools, ideas about how to influence the national conversation, how we as the public are talking with one another, how our Congress members are talking between themselves, and the kind of public demand for a new standard of civility. What I'd like to do now is invite two of the members of the Institute's National Advisory Board that are with us today. And first, Senator Tom Daschle, a co-chair of our National Board of Advisors. 